was on top of this! I knew I was on top of this! I said this during the trial, bro! I said this during the trial! Or during the- During the investigation. I said this during the investigation, bro! I said this! I am a, a- Bro, I'm the ultimate detective, bro! Sweetie, give me your- Give me your ultimate! I am the ultimate detective, bro! Let's go! Why do you guys want to vote? Are you stupid? Bro, I- This mother- Maki, why are well, you so stupid? Alright, we are back on some more Danganronpa V3. In the last episode we did, which I filmed five minutes ago, I just had to export my stuff on this camera onto my computer so I could film this. I literally filmed it five minutes ago. Uh, we left off in a bit of a cliffhanger where people are again suspecting Himiko. Give me a sec. Looks like we've reached the intermission segment, which means it's time for our... Guess the victim quiz! <laughs> Class is now in session, bitches. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? No, bro. You used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? No, it's, still, it's not her, bro. <laughs> well, Donkey still... Lips, did you kill that twat? No. Why is she not speaking? This is why I don't understand, bro. Must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Obviously, come on. Then she needs to defend herself. Right? Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. You are such a fucking two-year-old. What? I, I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Quitter's mentality. You're such a quitter. Died. Why did I have to survive? I don't even know to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why he's still alive. You're all saying I killed them? Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> don't care anymore. That's fucked up. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me. Suichi, we gotta step. Go ahead. Suichi, we gotta step in here. The game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. We got it, Suichi. We gotta step in. That's not the problem. We gotta step in, Suichi. Damn it! Don't tell me you've given up. Give up. Go. Don't give up. <sighs> Suichi, you step in. Understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. All of ours are. Just shut up. I told you. I'm too tired. <sighs> Come on. It's all just a big pain. I can't Quitter. Put up with it anymore. I can sit this one out. What I got are you this. Talking about? You give up here. You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Suichi, say something! Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Suichi! Himiko, not that kind of person. Gonta can tell by Himiko's face. Himiko's a little slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. Okay, okay Ma or Maki, but damn, why I can't it be so- I think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. Kyo, what's up with you right now, no, bro? No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. All right, let's go, Gonta. So no give up, Himiko. She used us anyway, bro. Himiko, I know you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up for the sake of everyone who died. Say it out loud, bro. God damn. They give us some... All right. They suspecting Himiko. We gotta deny the truth. Or we gotta deny the lie. The cage child sound during scenes. Home corner. Performing the seance in that room. Was Himiko's decision, was it? What if someone steered her into picking that room? No. Of the three empty rooms. <clears throat> why did you say that? <clears throat> because you laid your trap there. No, because it was the was darkest. Trap only in that room? Actually, no, they're all dark. Other rooms may be trapped too. Other rooms may be yeah, trapped. Even if Himiko picked the room. Someone else could have set that trap. But opinions are empty rooms. We have to agree with Gonta. We have to agree with Gonta. I, Bloody Kokichi, agree with Gonta. Let's go, Gonta. Yeah. Agree with that. Let's go. I agree. I agree. Kokichi, explain. It's just like Gonta said. 
Each room was the same. They were all trapped. And and Himiko wouldn't have gotten out of the way to do all that. What? Is that true? And she would have gotten the middle one regardless. She will tell you. Yeah. What the fuck is he doing? He was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Come on, Kokichi, snap into it, bro. You fell through the floor and you were bleeding. <laughs> what bad luck! It's like, bro, you're not lucky to bro. Room next to the crime scene, <clears throat> you found a loose floorboard, right? Yeah. Well, well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. Yeah. What? Hold on. There was also a loose floorboard in the next room. Yes. So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. So it couldn't have been Himiko. The set traps in all the rooms, and they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. They have all of them the same. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I don't remember who told her. Wait, who told? I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Was it Kyo? Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko! Who was what? the one who suggested she choose? Was there anyone who suggested Himiko chooses? Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? I remember! I remember this! I'll go instead! Uh, okay, he, he's just trying to... He's just, he's just trying to motivate her. Live life facing forward. Yeah. She said that to you, right? Okay. If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Okay. She's gonna give a we fuck. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. R.I.P. Ryoma and Kaede, low key, because she kind of did this something trial, for a good cause. It's not just for our lives; it's for everyone who's died as well. Facts. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. You got exclamation points, but you're not yelling. <laughs> So tell me, who told you? If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. I don't really care about <laughs> that's right. whatever. So let's do our best. Yes, Gonta. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna say it's a pain anymore. You're also not gonna be I useful, won't give but. Up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. If you survive, that everyone. that'd be fucking wild. After all, the black and is still among us. Facts. Everyone but the black hey, There you go. Killing the mood like usual. He's not wrong though. The black and gotta get but caught. Damn! Well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. Soul, bro. Your soul, bro. Well, anyway, do you think the black and this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards. Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> ah, that is a good point. Yeah. There must have been barrier magic. No. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. He he's saying if the killer set that up, then the killer would know where to avoid. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? Ah, oh, that's it. It must have been- that must have been the reason. I- it's the circle. Come on. The circle. This is it! You couldn't step around that area because of the circle. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Yep. Can't step on the circle. Be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the saints fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. Because it would unleash a curse. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plans, too? That's right. If that's the case, then the- If that's the case, then the culprit- There's no way- There's no way it's Kyo. There's no fucking way, bro. There's no way it's Kyo, bro. 
Oh my god. It has to be you. There's no fucking way. Kia. Bro. Was it you? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Whatever are you talking about? Kyo. I'm talking about Tenko's murder. I like Kyo. Kyo? Is it Kyo, bro? Why do you suspect me? Because it, it all adds up to you. You didn't want us to step on it for that reason. Because it would unleash a curse, but you knew. And you were the one who put the tarp on the thing. It all adds up to you, dude. Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. The circle kept us I'm from still discovering not... the seesaw trick. I'm still not 100% on Kia right now. I'll be honest. I'm still not 100% on it. That's but it does make before. sense. I'm still not convinced. But we'll and learn as we go on. Succeed. We'll go... We'll, we'll... Variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. Absolutely. And, and it makes him look so crazy right now. It makes him look super suspicious. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. Yeah. In short... The circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo? Answer already! Did you do it? I'm not convinced for some reason. For some reason, I'm not convinced. <laughs> What is so funny? What is funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. <clears throat> what? An intriguing experience? What? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? He's gonna say he was singing. So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. Where was he standing? How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. That Please is true. answer my question first. He seems so confident right now. Corbett stepped on that exact floorboard, even in the darkness? But how? How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine that Colbert found the right board. Although even after I put out the candle, I can move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe... He said it. Did you figure it out? That's it! The Colbert didn't even have to see it at all! They used... They didn't smell the salt. That's bullshit. If they, it, there's no fucking way it's smell. It's okay. It's got to be touch. I, I didn't mean to do smell. I meant to say touch. <laughs> I thought smell I was, was a third one. I thought smell was a third. I thought, bro, move. It's touch. <clears throat> I meant to say touch after that. I, I didn't mean to say smell. The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. It was lined up with the candle. So they probably used something besides the wall to move them, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? This f the fucking salt, the, the thing itself. Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. The circle? I'm sure there was something. A lane mark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was? The candle... It's either the candle or that's C A N D Magic Circle. Okay, it's Magic Circle. 100% Magic Circle. It's Magic Circle. I see now. <laughs> oh man. Yo, Kyo, you're looking crazy right now, bro. That's it. The Magic Circle. They used the Magic Circle. It was made of salt. Remember? The Magic Circle was drawn with <clears throat> salt. Yeah. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. <clears throat> so Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. 
You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. <laughs> An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. Yo, he's if he is the killer, he's doing fucking good. He's doing good. If he's the killer, he's the, and it doesn't even matter because he's not. Regardless if he is the killer, he's not getting killed. He's not getting executed. But he's doing a good job at making me think it's not him. Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? You would know. I how the fuck I, you would know? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. But that doesn't matter, because it's right by the fucking wall. You can go to the wall, and then walk forward. Eventually, you're going to hit the circle. What kind of logic is that? You guys are dumb. Eventually, so you're going to... Eventually, you're going to touch the circle. Eventually, you're going to hit the circle. the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room. Yes. Yeah, and if you use common logic, you walk along the wall a few feet. Eventually, you're going to be lined up with the salt. You can walk to the salt. Eventually, you'll touch it. The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it. Yes. If you don't have a brain, you couldn't have followed it, but I know you have a brain. We're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salt all but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. <clears throat> Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Hmm, what a pain. Yo, listen to him, bro! To check it now. No, listen to him! What a excuse me, everyone. <clears throat> may I have your attention, please? Talk. Well, I guess Shut there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. <clears throat> hey, may I have your attention? Yes! No, oh, I said cut that out! It's too bright! He got a rewind function, bro! I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. A rewind function. Cut out what? He got photographic memory! I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition <laughs> to the flashlight. More photographic memory! No way! Did you really- Photographic memory! Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that perp- Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. Photographic memory! Alright, so... What is this function? It's photographic memory! It's an image recording function. That too! Image recording? Let me see what it looked like. Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. So yeah, it was photographing memory. Ready? Yeah. What the fuck? Bro, I'm not trying to see that. Your mouth? I also use magic like that before. Hey Nico, we don't care. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Damn. I'm oh, sorry, bro. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay, got it. <clears throat> I take the paper from Kibo's mouth. What does it look like? So this is the magic circle used for the Saiyans. Okay. Well, <clears throat> Shuichi, well. do you notice anything? Let me look at the other photo. Notice anything. Let me look at the other photo. Ugh, fuck. Is it like this shit? <clears throat> there! Okay, that's what it is. The, the things that go along the walls. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you. We wouldn't have, I would not have known that. I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. Wow. My lie. The fucking thing was connecting to the wall. You said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. Lying ass motherfucker. But that's a lie, isn't it? There is things going the to the walls. At the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners. Not just that, but they were going in all four corners. Which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Good, good motivational hey, support to, to Himiko. I'm the one who installed <clears throat> that function into Kibo. All right, thanks, Mew. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? True. Oh, to be honest, it's the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically, 
I make Kibo use that function every day, too. <sighs> Analyze my turds! You're what? Why? Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality! Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... You don't do it like Nekomaru. Ne Nekomaru, you don't, you don't, you don't talk about this like Nekomaru does, bro. When ne Nekomaru does it better than you. Come on, bro. See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Ne ne Nekomaru did it better. Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Kyo, you killed Tanko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can- Your deductions are fiction. Here we go. This motherfucker on the ropes, bro. I got him on the ropes. I gotta hit him with a one-two. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. All right. To be honest, it's <clears throat> unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Come on. Unimportant? Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. I'm gonna do more than entertain you, bro. I'm gonna entertain you to the fu- <laughs> He's not even gonna get executed, that's crazy. Marker stone, iron cage. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in White sheet! Cage. White sheet! You put the white the sheet on! People capable of that. Are Kokichi and Shuichi who can No! So you put the white sheet on! Them. White sheet! White sheet! True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. White sheet! Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. White that sheet! was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle was Himiko. White sheet! But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. No! White but sheet! in regards to that dilemma... White sheet! I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to Shut up! Sickle. I'll, I'll cut, cut your words. words! Let's go! The white sheet! The who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. Lying ass motherfucker. You placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Caught his ass. Caught his ass. 4K. While everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful. That's exactly correct. Here he goes. What? It's correct. Then why don't you give up already? It doesn't even matter, bro, because he's not the killer of Angie. Well, <laughs> he's probably the not. The trick I put so much work into. He's just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tinkle? But why does that Let matter? That's... You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> but unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Bro. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, We'll die. Why did you what do you it? What are talking about, Keo? What was that accent? <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. So why did you do it? Meaningless? <clears throat> you mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Yeah, but it's... Why would you do it, though? It's only the first one. <clears throat> Yo, we... <sighs> Give me a sec, I gotta answer a phone call. My mom's in New York. <sighs> Bro, but why- We can- Yo, Kyo, stay the you fuck see, away from me. I killed Tenko, but not Angie. Why? For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Bro, you are- Trivial issue? You are crazy, bro. No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie, too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, 
only student <sighs> council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. Bro! How could I have possibly killed Enji when I couldn't even enter her lab? Alright, fuck you, bro. Let's move on. Take fuck you. Time. We gotta find the killer. No one else could have done it besides you. Not true. If you're the one who killed Tanko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie. <sighs> bro, what if Tanko killed Angie? And he killed Tanko because Tanko killed Angie. I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. <clears throat> so you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Well, why are we hey, talking about Bull? Worked up, Kibo. Chill, dude. Enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Yo, hold on, Isn't bro. Kyo culprit? Tanko, why does Tanko look crazy not. now? This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! He's not lying. Now hold on. <clears throat> Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Nuts to that. Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. It's from debate. Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. From debate. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. The culprit's one of you. Yeah. I'm psychic, bro. <laughs> this argument is I'm psychic. At times like this. Yippee! I've been waiting for this. Same, bro. <laughs> Why were you waiting for it? Because it's easy as hell. Kyo confessed to killing Tenka, but insists he didn't kill Angie. We won't forgive Kyo for what he did, but we can't vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence and convince everyone. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Yo. <sighs> crazy, bro. Crazy. If... I... I don't... If Tenko did kill Angie, this is a crazy plot twist. I still... I don't want to say Tenko did, but if that is the case, that's a crazy plot twist. Crazy plot twist. Ah... <sighs> All right, let's get this work. Who's on my squad? Maki? Why the fuck is Maki not on my squad? Wait, what the... They want to vote now? Kyo killed Tenko and Angie. Uh, that's me. But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. You motherfuckers want to vote? Maki, are you... his way into Angie's research lab and killed her. I got, I got it. But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tenko's death. Can't we just vote now? It's I me! This. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Let's go! Kyo killed Tenko and Angie! No! Come on! <clears throat> so Kyo did kill Tenko, but he not blackened? Uh, Kokichi. Kokichi! Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. Yeah! He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tenko's death. Can't we just vote now? Me! I got, I got this! Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Kyo killed Tenko and What? Andy. How? Alright, come on. K1! We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Alright. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! I got, I got this. this! But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo! Anyone could have entered my lab. Let's go! So Kyo did kill Tenko, but he not... Kokichi! Kokichi. Perhaps there's a second black and we need to find it. He was planning to use the new rule to protect Kyo. Kyo! Not possible. 
That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of taking. I got this! Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Ah! Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Why do you guys want to vote? Are you stupid? Are you guys dumb? Maki and Ko and Kaido? Mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. Right? You guys are stupid. And Maki, you are an idiot. Murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Bro, I this mother Maki, why are well, you so stupid? Kaido's confession derailed our conversation a bit, but we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. No fucking way I was on top of this. No fucking way! I said this during the trial! I said this during the trial! I said this during the trial! I'm on top of my shit, bro! I'm on top of the- Oh no! I thought it was that. On top of this, I knew I was on top of this. I said this during the trial, bro. I said this during the trial or during the during the investigation. I said this during the investigation, bro. I said this. I am a, a bro. I'm the ultimate detective, bro. Sweetie, give me your give me your ultimate. I am the ultimate detective, bro. I said this already. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Roll a fucking clip back right now. Roll that shit back. Angie's death? I feel like there's only one other option for that. It's Angie's death. Did Angie die in the same, like... If it's dry, the only other person who died on this floor was Angie. I said this, bro. I, I said this. That was genius. No, it's Angie's, man. I fucking knew this. I knew this. Also, the blood stain was already dry when no. we found it. I fucking knew this, bro. But the blood from Tanko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Oh my god, I knew this. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? I made this assumption that it was Angie's death. It was dry because it was from the investigation. The air was dry. It was before Tanko was killed. It was though. It fucking was though. Bro. Yeah, that's what it happened. Yeah, that's what it was it happened before Tanko was killed, which was the, the scene. So that's stupid. From Tanko's murder. It was from Angie's. It was there before we started the seance. I'm a genius, bro. I I'm a genius, bro. Whose blood it was? It's Angie's, bro. That's it. I was fucking on top of this, bro. If that blood stain wasn't Tenko's. It was Angie's. I was on top of this, bro. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? I was on top of this shit. Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? No. Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Oh my god, in uh, the tape. I guess that's possible. I was on top if of this. Angie wasn't killed in her lab. Then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lap. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. What the fuck is Dinata, bro? Where is that? So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well. I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. You think she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. They're dark. Did Angie have business in the rooms? They're dark. No, he's not. Up to his usual no, he's not, Kyo. No, he's not. <laughs> I do lie a lot. And I could be lying right now, too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. 
After Angie left her lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true or... <sighs> I think it's true. We'll leave. The art research lab is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? To do the ritual. There shouldn't have been anything in there. Yeah, except for a except dark room. Candles. No. She wanted a candle. No. Keep herself away. Wait a second, she did! She did need a candle! You need a candle to you do And she did need a candle. Muse right! Muse right! She did need a candle to do the ritual! Muse right! She's right! Me, let me shoot that. Let me agree with you. You're right. Shoot that. Let's go. I agree. She's right. Exactly right. And she went to that room to get a candle for the Necromomicon. No, for 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 Necromomicon. And she was going to use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead, you need the candle. You need the candle. You need a. You need. Yep. You need the candle. You need that candle. Then did she so can burn the it? Candle so she could burn the book. That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. That's why there was dried blood under floor. But why was it under? This is another mystery here. <clears throat> Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. <laughs> if we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. Maybe, dude. That's right. Shinichi <laughs> and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a two as will. Or maybe a magic. He really, he's really dissing right now. Neither. I just picked one. Yep. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Tape. Alright. And how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? Alright, give me the truth, bullet. Tape. It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. Tape. Take the tape off, start the bleeding. There I think it is. she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm. It's not where I was going, but she was killed after she was carried to her lab. Oh God! Twice. Yeah, we know, we know that. Um. This is it. Wow. Knocked her out or something? What? The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. So she did after get knocked she out. Was knocked unconscious in the empty room. She was killed in her lab. Okay. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Huh. Ha! It's all clear now. Okay. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab. And it was there that the culprit finished her off. All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? <laughs> what are all you clear? <clears throat> what is all clear? What are you talking about? What is what are you all clear? What the fuck? Wh what are you all you you what? What wh what are I will not fear. I will what not the back down. Who the fuck is this? Kurashio? Who is this? Sweet Kurekio, calm yourself. What the fuck is this? 
Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. Who are you? What? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Who the fuck are you? Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. Who are you? What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies! <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts! Of mysteries! Of a dense, impenetrable fog! <laughs> what? Nothing is clear at all! Are you sure? This motherfucker really going crazy right now, bro. <clears throat> Bloody duct tape. Alright, I'm already seeing it. Angie was attacked in the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible. Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion! You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions? No, bro. It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. Oh, wow. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body and not a single drop of blood fell? Yeah. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Yeah. I was wrong. I, th I thought it was the... You the hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down Oh shit, there, my bad. There'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Oh, I'll cut your, your words. words! There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. Shout out to Maki, shout out to Maki. What? Alright, Kyo, get 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 Buddha, get catch his catch his execution, Kyo. Yo, uh, I'm running out of water. It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. Maki did. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. Must have been Atua who did it no. for us. No. <laughs> what? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? <laughs> now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. Yep. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Yep. Come on, bro. It has to be you. Come on. That's crazy, bro. It's you, Kyo. <laughs> you killed Angie. Come on, bro. I liked Kyo, but this motherfucker, he, he turned on me, bro. What the fuck? So it's true. Angie well, that was obvious. Such a boring, <laughs> obvious answer. <clears throat> killed both of them. Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. But he... Why? Why you killed them both? Good I question. think one of the murders was an accident. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? Surely Angie's. Angie's? Yeah. <laughs> Angie's murder. What the fuck? Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tanko wasn't accident? Definitely not. The, the Tanko's was definitely not an accident. That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. <clears throat> but while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Thank God it's the then same killer too. You should have just stopped there. Thank God it's the same killer. Angie killed Angie. There was no reason for him to kill Tinko. He no. only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. I think there was a reason. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? 
There was the e What is it? What on earth are you talking about? To try and cover up the first one, because the first no. one was not planned. I'm not the culprit. So why is everyone? He's gonna say it's like, like his. He's gonna say it's his altered fucking personality. Why? Right? Why are they? Why is it? Calm yourself, Correcchio. I had a feeling. <laughs> yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. Can he get out of here, bro? Can he get the fuck you up on out of here? Lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Get him out of here, bro. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry knot is not worth agonizing over. Bro, get him out of here, man. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Get him out of here, bro. Here he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. He's talking with someone. <laughs> he's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? No matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. Okay. I never acknowledge your allegations. <clears throat> Not a single one of them. I see right through them. So you see. There is no evidence that I killed Angie. Here we go. No, I will not acknowledge it. Final little I will argument only here. only acknowledge facts, true events. I will acknowledge fiction, mystery. I'll show you the facts. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. I'll show you the facts. Well said. Good job, Kaleki. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Me the fuck out! No evidence? There's no evidence that he killed Angie? You're wrong. There is evidence. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. Let's get this the fucking that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. 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 Yo. Apologize. 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 I'm skipping that, bro. Seriously, what the hell's happening? I don't know, but I'm about to cook his shit. I have no idea what's happening with Keo. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. Let's go. What the? F oh, okay, it's this. All right. I have nothing to admit. Such a sorry lie. Kill his ass. Apologize. 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 Get him out of here, bro. Apologize. I told you I am not the culprit. Come on. You have no proof that Karekia uh, is the killer. Re moved. Fuck! I board floor. I told oh you my god, I fucked it up! Re moved floorboard! It ends here! It ends here! Let's go! <laughs> Get that f off my screen! Keo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. Get the fuck out of here, bro. And how do you know the floorboard was a murder weapon? Because there was blood on it! There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there... It would need to be that floorboard because they would the place it back. The floorboard must not have been in place at the yep. time of the attack. Exactly. Good point. I could roll right through. Had the floorboard right been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. How? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick, it means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Let's go. I'm so glad it was the same person, too. Yeah. Holy shit. And it couldn't have been a better person, bro. Get him out of here. Oh my god. I believe that while Keo was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. And a cold cocker with a floorboard. Oh, 
all you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Well, it's true. It's the truth. The truth shall always prevail. In the name of hope. Looks like we're almost at the end. Hope always beats despair. All right, Chuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. I hate doing this shit, bro. Please, put an end to this. You got you, Himiko. For Andy and Tanko's sake. End this class trial. All right. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Heal. I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. I knew all along, bro. I I, I might have not known all along that it was Keo, but I knew all along what was going on. That's fucking crazy. Uh, minus the fact that I thought they were under the floor. What weapon knocked Angie unconscious? Remove floorboard. What was compressed in the injury? Uh, duct tape. Uh, the handle of the spinning katana. Hit the sliding lock. Da, da, da. When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? Uh, Kokichi bitch ass. What weapon did the culprit set up on the iron cage? Uh, a sickle place to kill. How was the culprit able to move around in the darkness during the seance? Uh, cut cross piece under the floor. All right. This is the truth of the case. Let's go. Let's go. Let's look back at the first murder. <clears throat> Crazy, it was bro. Last night, the culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. He was planning a different. The culprit was preparing the séance murder they had planned. He was planning a different murder. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. Look at the, look at the way they got Angie walking, bro. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, she literally died. Unexpected happened. Why is she skipping, bro? Like, bro, show some decency. She literally nah, don't show decency. I hate Angie her anyway. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. To be she honest, some fire for the ritual. And had gone to the room for a kid. This motherfucker didn't even need to do all this. Angie's stupid enough that she wouldn't have known what was going on. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. She's st she's stupid enough that she wouldn't Angie have even known. Not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. But eventually she would have figured out. Is what you're but gonna now say? That Angie had seen it. Yeah. The culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. And that was his only plan. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. <laughs> oh man. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. This chapter, this trial is Loki a W because it got rid of characters I didn't like. And the killer was someone who I thought I liked, but I they guess it's good that they're out of here now. Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. This is a W. This is a W trial, bro. This then is a W up trial. Her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. W W uh, trial, bro. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Crazy, bro. But I don't even care because it, yo, then, because it. To further confuse us, I ain't care about her. The culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. First, this was genius from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons. For Why you gotta this. do Kaide like that, bro? To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. And the other was the key to locking the room. Why is that the fucking. Why are they showing at that angle, bro? Once Why released, is it that angle? The effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. That is such an unnecessary angle. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock locking the door a difficult trick but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch 
the culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Facts. Because if it failed, they wouldn't Once have locked. He could have went back in. The door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Try and pin it on Himiko. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. And thank fucking God I was. Or else we would all be dead. Thank God. Yo, shout out to Kibo because you are... here to be the media. Yep. She never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. A small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. This is fucking genius, but like, Next, it's genius? Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. Bro, this is so genius, but it's so incredibly stupidly done, man. It's genius, but everything would just lead up to him being the killer, bro. It's geniusly done, but everything would lead up to him being the killer anyway. Because of the whole science thing, the whole, he playing the entire, like, it just leads up to him anyway. Why would he do it in this way? To drape the white cloth over the iron cage. Genius. Genius, but so he stupidly executed. Time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. Genius plan, horrible execution. A genius plan. They needed to set up the murder weapon. Or actually the opposite. Tenko. It, it was a genius execution, but a horrible plan. A genius execution, but a horrible plan. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. Genius execution, terrible plan. Genius execution, terrible plan. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. It stomped on that shit then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. Mm. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw. That's fucking brutal, bro. And pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. That's brutal. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. Brutal. She was killed right before our eyes, and we didn't even see it. Yo, shout out to K1, by the way, as well, bro. Shout out to K1 with the photographic memory. Discover Tenko's body. RIP. While we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Let's go. Let's go. Kureki Oshinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. That's the one You're that, the culprit behind these murders. Somebody say the name. Let's go, bro. Let's fucking yo W trial, bro. After last trial, that was a W That's trial. Where my detective work leads us. It all fits. The last trial I wasn't a huge fan of. This trial, W, bro. Massive W. <laughs> Let's go. What a good trial. There are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. <sighs> what time? All right, we're at a minute. We're at an hour and eighteen minutes. So we're probably like an hour, probably like of gameplay of yeah the video. Okay. So you finally admit you did it. I'm so glad it was just one person too. Unfortunately. <clears throat> yes. Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Yeah. Now who's gonna bring you back? <laughs> who's gonna bring you back if no one knows how to do the saints now, bitch? You're out of here. My regret. My only regret. Is it's low, not bro. being able to make 100 friends. Here he goes. Dude, they're gonna make us sympathize for him, bro. 100 friends? Like, bro, this is not Comey cannot communicate, bro. It was my dream to make 100 friends. Bro. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. Bro, you barely went past uh, 14, bro. W what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. He's talking to demons. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. I agree, me. Let's just get this over with. Roger that. One voting time. Coming up. 
Let's go. Skip that bullshit. Skip that bullshit. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to skip Monokuma. It's voting time! Music to my ears. Skip this bull. Let's go. And just like that, another student down. Ominous. What we got, what we got, what we got. I'm already knowing someone voted for me, and it's, it's gonna be Keo. <laughs> he motherfucker gonna be salty, he gonna be petty. That's like what, what Kirumi did. Oh wow, he didn't even vote for me. Wow, Kirumi voted for me, he didn't vote for me. Who will be chosen as the blackened? <clears throat> will you make the right choice? We made the right one, come on. Let's go. Give me an A. Let's go, bro. Give me the freaking A. I deserved an A on that. I was on top of that entire thing, bro. I was on top of that entire thing. I was on top of that shit. Wow. Seriously? You're correct again. Absolutely right. <laughs> Amazing. This is the third correct verdict in a row. All right. For now, no. it's ah oh, fuck my bad. No, not yet. I haven't heard the, his answer yet. Kyo, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tanko? Right. Yeah, he need he no need to kill them both. No matter what motive he have. Oh, motive. Hey, did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how did that trigger a murder? Hey. hey. Don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaido? Shut up! Shut up! I never said I was scared! <laughs> the resurrection ritual has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? I... Because we're friends, I'll tell you, I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone or such a silly thing as that. What? So it has nothing to do with the motive? Yeah. Then why? Yes, for the one that I love. There is someone there is, that I love. He said it. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. Someone so dear. Someone I long for. <laughs> Bro, Satan. I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Spike, was this necessary? Was this necessary? This was not necessary at all. What am I looking at, bro? This was not necessary. <sighs> I pro- <laughs> I love her with all my heart. Uh, she, yes. He said it. We vowed an endless love to each other, forever bound by fate. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love, no matter what anyone says. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Get that off my screen. What? what? Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you. Some of us aren't that lucky. <laughs> to see this lover of yours, <laughs> you had to escape. Don't. Tell me. That's why you killed Angie and Tanko? But why did you need to kill Bulk? <laughs> if you asked if I didn't, if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Inside? Yeah. Wait. He's, he's crazy, bro. Just don't look at me. I, I'm not his lover. Yeah. Calm down. No one would want a disgusting, shit stuffed bitch like you anyway. Curse Blue! What the? What? what? Hey. Kyo, what? Who is it? Who's the person you love? Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> no, fucking Maki, idiot. Mm, what I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. He means inside himself. I mean inside me. Sister. Yes, the one. <laughs> what? Huh? Wait. Um, d don't look at me. I I'm not his sister. Right? Well, duh. If he were his sister, he would have killed himself already. Wait. Your sister? But didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter. <laughs> it is not that difficult. My sister is my lover. Don't. I loved her so deeply. 
Didn't she love me so deeply? Cover your eyes, children. The fact that we Cover your eyes. Meant nothing to us. Cover your eyes. Don't listen to it. Love, but none could stop the love we shared. Don't listen to any of this, bro. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Bro, I used to like this dude, bro. I used to like this motherfucker. For my beloved sister. That is why, for my beloved sister, I had to. Always you you had to escape from here, right? No. No, I had to kill for her. Huh? What? Sister. Sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However... Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. Huh? Deceased? Do you understand? My sister is now a ghost, so her friends should be ghosts too, right? For my beloved sister! For sister's sake, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. <laughs> <laughs> they were all wonderful people, worthy of being sisters' friends. Huh? What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Sister. <laughs> Sister is very happy. Yes. Yes, Karakio, I am very happy. Thanks to you, I am not lonely. What? Yo, his voice makes me go like, it makes me faint. C could it be? That the lipstick version of Q is. I am Karekio's older sister. What? Yo, his voice is making me like pass out. Give me a sec, guys. I gotta take a quick break. His voice dead ass makes me pass out for some reason. I don't know why. Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed her for a dead chick. You said you killed Alan already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here. What was that? <laughs> Seems like he was already crazy before he got here. Because? He didn't kill the escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Unacceptable. You didn't make me out to be some bloodthirsty and discriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sisters' friends. Huh? Only girls? I see. So when we were deciding who we should be- who should- on who should be the medium... Ah, interesting. Uh, you said it would work best with a girl. I, I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. And besides Maki and Miyu, they were all worthy. All uh, worthy. Uh, don't disrespect Maki. All worthy of being sisters' friends. Yeah. All worthy. Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, I, not like I care. Then, and the second victim could have been me. Tenko died in place of me? Yeah. I talked about this right at the beginning. I talked about this at the beginning of this trial. I talked about this already. Excellent. Himiko would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for a sister. Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? Infiltrate? Really? But... But how did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me... I've studied many people. Uh, yes, she stood be? up against the darkness of this school all by herself. Our beloved friend. Beautiful. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She w was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Well. No, I was planning on having you become sister's friend too, eventually. No way! I'm go I'm go I'm going. Oh my god, I'm I'm getting dizzy again. What is that? You're talking like you killed her just because you could. No, no, not just because. I can't. Bro. I'm going. I'm going. Oh dear. Can we kill him? Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? Because the world's fucked up. Because everyone likes unfair deaths. Maybe. Well, if you look at that day like that, this whole killing game would be embodies of that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game? <laughs> Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. If people were watching this... Shut up! Knock off the bullshit. Only sick fucks would enjoy watching this. You got me. Hell yeah. If I wasn't in, in this killing game, I would have so much fun watching. So then... The nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. <laughs> But my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. 
Sister. I think I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. Sister. I wasn't able to send her 100 friends, but at least I can see her again now. Correctio. Oh. It's punishment time! Thank you. Huh? Punishment time. Don't question. Sister. That's right. With what? Therefore, from an anthropological. <laughs> yes. What was that? I. Oh, that was this answer I reached. How about you? How will you live a life that faces now death? Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Okay. I shall observe. As if friend, I will watch over you. That's right. I won't be just me and Corky. All those who died will be watching. <laughs> I'll be watching to see how you face the death of your friends. Humanity. I'll be watching beautiful. forever and ever. It's punishment time. S jinx, chant those bells. Let's get it. Oh shit! My bad, guys. I'm good now. Let's go. Kill him. <laughs> Let's go. What the fuck? Oh, no, he into some freaky shit, bro. He into some... What? Cultural melting? What? He, he, on the, he, he on his freaky, bro. He on his freaky. He getting spun to death? Can you do that? Can you get, die of dizziness? Is that a thing? What the... They... <laughs> They burning his ass alive? Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, wow. He's burning alive. He's burning alive, bro. Oh, my God. Get him off the screen, man. I don't care about these fucking... Thank you, bro. Get him out of here. Like, whatever, bro. Yo, that is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. It's like Celeste. Except worse. That's way worse. What the fuck is this? Don't show me that fucking- Don't show me this again, bro. What is this, bro? I, I'm, am I on acid? What? Salt? Oh, shit. He, he, he killing him. He killing him for- He killing his spirit. He killing his spirit so he can't be with her. Let's go. W. He just killed- He killed the ghost. What is- What the fuck just happened, bro? I don't know, but he gone, bro. He gone for good. Don't- I don't care about him, bro. <laughs> you guys should've brought- Yo, my poo-hoo-hoos, bro. They'd be on fire. You guys should've brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. Shut up! How long are you gonna keep talking about that? I told you. Ignore him. The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's just trying to shake us mentally to get us to panic. What's the point? I'm assuming you'll think of, of another murder. I'm assuming you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Hmm. What a what? Um. Oh yeah. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. Look at so the. Long. Farewell. Look at the student numbers, bro. We are dwindling. Uh, um, we are dwindling. Man, this around. is stupid. What people believe in, in in is up to him, and them. But living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. Of course. The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what. <sighs> is that something a coward like you should say? <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. But, but there's one thing this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but. <laughs> There isn't, after all. Not in this academy. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Or our ultimate talents are the best weapons we have. Go to do his best. Then go to do his best to keep everyone safe. Go to want to protect everyone. Uh, but your talent is entomology. <sighs> I don't want Suichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm... What? I'm getting sick of class trials. You're right. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you gonna use that, huh? Okay. I'll work hard until everyone trusts me. My ult I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
It may not be possible now, but I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I... I won't run away anymore. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. Maki. <laughs> I see. I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling as a killer shows? Huh. Don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my... Don't fucking call her that, Kaido. I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, I didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki Roll? Oh. oh, you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. Friendship, bro. They're just friends. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner, especially not after losing seven people. <laughs> You're right. Only nine people left now. Damn. <laughs> well, what do you know? The dumbasses can do basic math. That's right. Seven pieces of shit have been flushed away and only nine remain. Actually... By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But... Just nine of us. Well, you know. Humans are like weeds. Too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. Shit. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? How rude! No, I am not thinking that! Your plain robophobia is simply inexcusable! But you know... But hey, none of us gave up, right? I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on a god, spirits, or the dead. I believe in you! Just you guys. I believe in all of you. Okay. Kaido. Well, of course! You're right! Those of us who remain can start over! Hey, hey! Hold up! Keyboy needs to apologize to everyone for the whole student council thing. Hmm. There's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. How exciting! To yank your head off and smash it into the ground with all your strength. Got that? No way! I've never heard of such an intense form of apology. Seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. You alright? Himiko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. Hey! I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. Okay. I remember how I felt. Oh, oh, don't understand. You're so dumb. God, Himiko is such a liar. Huh? Huh? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it, you wouldn't have any free will in the world if the world was comp comprised with just the truth. But... But even then, I don't think it's good to lie by yourself, you know. Right? What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little bit. Uh -uh. I only said this because I thought about it. Because? Himiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey! Hey, what are you, rep re hey, what are you re repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back? <laughs> Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural, so if you feel like crying, you feel better when you do. Laughing will make you feel better, too. Inventing your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko! I had to give her one final line, one final send-off. I, I, I don't really like her, and I, I've been hating on her, but I understand- Yeah, she had, she's had it the worst, bro. She's definitely had it the worst. Tanko! Angie! I'm so lonely! I'm so lonely without you two! But I gotta survive. I still can't go to where you are! But I'm lonely! I'm so lonely without the both of you! Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> Himiko cried for a long time. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. Look at his feet, bro. This is not. This is not something that that I'm supposed. To, is am I supposed to get sad about this? Look at Gonta's crusty ass feet, and look at Himiko, bro. This just looks stupid. <laughs> We're crying about what we had been through, what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love, tears filled the, with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. Bro, I'm, I'm near an, an hour 40. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However... Is she hard to carry, Gonta? 
She passed out, bro? No, she fine. Gone to fuck, man. The thing is, bro, in all the fourth cases in all the games, the gentle giants ended up getting killed. Spoilers, obviously. Sakura was the gentle giant of game one. She ended up dying. Nekamaro was the gentle giant of game two. Fourth trial, he ended up dying. Gonta is the gentle giant of this game. I'm really scared for Gonta, bro, because I feel like he's gonna die in this in this chapter, which is unfortunate, man. Gonta's fuck, man. Gonta, bro. He's gonna ah, oh, man. This is this is tough. She's sleeping very peacefully. Gonta's a real one, though, bro. Gonta is the realest one. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oil. There goes Kikichi, right. always ruining the mood, bro. I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. Yo, uh, Maki, you tired? Are you sleepy? Your legs hurt? Hop on my shoulders. But wow, that really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, and she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Obviously. Yeah. I hope so. Then go to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? Is she being You'll freaky? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya! There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gonta is a gentleman after all. Why is she always horny, bro? Gonta is gentleman, bro. While we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed. Yes, sir! And I'm assuming Maki? We got a train, bro. Hmm. Oh, nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Don't worry about me. Go on ahead. What? Huh? Are uh, you sure? Well... Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you dislike scary things, then you should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. Huh. You worried about me? <sighs> yeah, worried about your stupidity. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so haven't warmed up to me, huh? But... Maybe not, but I feel like the walls we had up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Got it. <laughs> yeah, cause of me. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe, but you sound like you're bragging, Kaido. Huh. Yeah, but like I said, I'm gonna get some air before I go back. You can go on ahead. Okay. Sure, got it. See you tomorrow. Got it. Yeah, see you tomorrow. After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaido. <laughs> motherfucker gagging like a motherfucker, bro. He coughing blood. Damn it! What, bro? He coughing up blood? I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Is he still scared? Damn it. No way am I gonna die here. Bro, is he still? No way. How is he still scared? W chapter. That was definitely that was that was a good chapter. Chapter one was the best, but this was a good chapter. We got nine students left. Nine students. Wow, that is we are small in the numbers, bro. Nine students. They gave me his mask, bro. Save. What the fuck? Okay, I still have to. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? What the fuck is that? Yo, I'm trying to end the episode, but I can't now. What the fuck? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Myself? Am I Rantaro? Guess I should start from the beginning. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. I doubt that. The first two games, they said the same thing, but it was now like six and five. The important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more thing. Stop getting sidetracked. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first He- Bro. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. Finds out who you are. He knows so much. What the fuck? Not only that, but he's dead. So watch your back. Trust no one, and never forget, you wanted this killing game, so you have to win, no matter what. I wanted this killing game, no matter what. I wanted this killing game? I wanted this killing game. 
I have to win. I wanted this killing game. What? When you there's something, there's some sinister shit going on. All right, we're ending it here. We're ending it here. My brain is fried from all the dinging today. I filmed two episodes, two class trials, of course. That is gonna be all for today's ding and wrap video. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content. I post pretty much every single day. From here, tonight, I'm probably gonna film some God of War, some Breath of the Wild, and then maybe some VR. And then tomorrow I'll film, I think, a scary game uh, and some more dinging and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, we're gonna have a little bit more variety this week. But I think tonight I'm gonna film some God of War and some Breath of the Wild and maybe even another episode of Danganronpa because I'm so invested in this game, dude. I'm so invested in this game right now. I'm so invested. So yeah, that is all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.